In traditional straw bale gardening, bales are conditioned by adding nitrogen-rich compost or manure to the bales to provide nutrients and initiate decomposition while growing vegetables. You can use mushroom grain spawn in a similar way, and the fungi will facilitate the faster breakdown of the straw while growing mushrooms. Late fall or winter into early spring is the best time in Texas to grow mushrooms outdoors. Typically, mushrooms fruit after the rain and require high humidity and temperatures between 55 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the species. It's best to try to time it up with the seasons when mushrooms grow in nature with the rain that usually comes in fall or spring. If you're unsure of when certain mushrooms fruit in the wild, you can also use this app called iNaturalist. You just search the mushroom species, the location, and filter by date. Be sure to use straw, not hay, because the seeds will sprout and become weeds. You'll want to place it in a shady spot protected from the wind and within reach of your garden hose. The most important material you need for growing mushrooms is the spawn, which is the equivalent of seeds. You can purchase bags of spawn from your local mushroom farm or buy it online for around $30. Many times mushroom farms have used sawdust blocks that have grown mushrooms once and then end up getting tossed in the waste stream. Check with your local mushroom farm to see if you can help them reduce their waste and use the spawn in your organic garden. Oyster mushrooms grow well outdoors and readily outgrow competitors and potential contaminants. This mushroom grows in several bright colors such as blue, pink, and yellow. The taste of oyster mushrooms is very mild. Some describe it as subtly woody or like seafood. Oysters grow in partial shade and prefer straw to denser woody substrates. So you'll need straw bale, oyster spawn, garden fork, spade, and a pry bar. Soak bale with water for a few hours. It will soak water up like a sponge. Use hot water if available to make for a cleaner substrate. After the straw has drained, disperse spawn evenly on all sides of the bale, getting as close to the center as possible. It's helpful to use a spade or garden fork to get deeper into the bale. We even used a pry bar to loosen it up. Use one five pound bag of spawn for one straw bale. While the mycelium spreads, be sure to keep the bale hydrated, lightly watering when you water your vegetables. After seven to 14 days, you will start to see mycelium colonize the straw. Once temperatures exceed 80 degrees, the bale may get too hot for mycelial growth. Try placing in the shade or use a shade cloth. You can also inoculate with more spawn to keep your mushrooms growing as the temperatures rise. Your mushrooms will be ready to harvest within 10 to 21 days, depending on the species. Try to harvest your oyster mushrooms right before the spores drop. You will know they are ready to drop spores when the caps start to curl upward. Remove the mushroom clusters from your bale at the base of the cluster with a knife, or simply twist off with your hand. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us on our website or on our social media.